Hi guys, this is Aaron Linson with Technically Blind. And I wanted to go over some of the Braille Sense menu structure here and kind of show you why it's different from a smartphone. And one of the really cool features that I have found in it. One of the ways that I have been using this device is to take notes, whether it be in church or professionally. It's just a great way to do this in Braille and be able to use all the contractions and everything that you know in order to get a readable file. And it's really cool that you can save it as a Braille file and translate it into different document formats. So I'm going to press the F1 key and W Task name, word processor. to open up the word processor Pop of document. and bam, I'm already in the word processor. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to. Voice rate seven. Oh. Voice rate six. Voice volume nine. Voice volume. There we go. Turn the volume up a little bit. I didn't have to do anything to get it to find the app, double tap it, open up a folder, do anything like that to get in there. Just one command, F1 and W, opened up the uh, opened up the word processor. Again, to close it, I don't have to swipe up or anything, just either space Z or F4, or well, space, space Space with Z. No name up doc save. Yes, prompt button. And no prompt button. No save. W. And I'm back in file manager F. The main menu with Braille Sense. Not to mention that the Braille display is instantly on as soon as you turn on the device. So there's no having to go into settings or making sure it's connected to Bluetooth or anything like that. It's instantly on and you are ready to go. And also, you can change things on the fly. So if I open up the word processor again, Task name, word processor, and top of document, I go back to the top of that document, and I hit space with G. Uncontracted Braille. I'm in Blind. uncontracted Braille. Contracted Braille. I'm in now back in contracted Braille, and I was in computer Braille, and I knew that from being able just to look at the. Um, the keys, uh, the Braille actually, and be able to see that my left and right parenthesis were in computer Braille. So no having to change that, use the rotor or another gesture to do that on the fly and be able to um, have to sit there and find it and make sure I hear it correctly. That command is right in there, ready to go. No name up doc save. And I yes, want to no prompt button. Word processor. Exit out of that. File manager. F. Bring up the word processor. Showed you email the last time. But I also wanted to show you something really, really neat. But first of all, let's go through the file manager here and see what we got. So we have file manager, typical. The one cool thing, as I stated in the last video too, is I have my OneDrive and my Google Drive. And if, and if I had a Dropbox linked up, I could link all those up. And it's awesome as well. I can also link up Exchange Office 365 um, professional accounts to the email client in the Braille Sense 6 as well and be able to just basically offload all my email, which I have, to the Braille Sense. And it makes it a really great experience because I don't have to then have my phone with me to check that. I can just grab the Braille Sense and be good to go. But we have File Manager. Word Processor. Word Double. Processor. And this is a really powerful word processor. You're able to create really good formatted looking documents. And that's something that's going to take an entire video on its own. Notepad. N. Notepad's almost like I think of it as the notepad on Windows, so we're just a basic text editor. Um, you can save stuff in BRL and BRF formats. Uh, basically, 
more for Braille input um, and dealing with Braille files. Whereas the word processor, I think of more as Microsoft Word, but in a Braille style format. Email. E. Email. Media. M. Media. We have in this. Media player. M. A media player. FM radio. Oh. FM radio. Podcasts. P. And podcasts. Web radio. W. The web radio. Voice recorder. V. Voice recorder. Voice recorder. V. And the voice recorder is really, really good. Web podcast. And podcast is something I've, that I've been playing around with and have been toying with the idea of taking Overcast to my podcast player, not off the phone, but deleting it from the home screen of my iPhone and just using podcasts, getting every podcast that I can on my Braille Sense here and seeing how that works, um, how it deals with large files. Media, M. But that's something that's really neat. We'll go into another video about that. Books, K. Books, let's go into this. Daisy Player, D. We have a Daisy Player. Document Reader. A K. Document Reader. This is where you can open up Word documents, BRF, BRL, PDF, uh, PowerPoints, um, anything like that. And read it without doing any editing. Online Daisy. Oh. Online Daisy. Bookshare download. We have Bookshare downloads. If you're a Bookshare member. Bookshare download. B books. K. And I'll show you something that if you're a NLS bar member, you can get as well. Organizer. Oh. Let's look into organizer. Address manager. A. Address manager. Schedule manager. Schedule manager. Database manager. D. Database manager. Database manager. D. Now at the schedule and Schedule manager. The and address manager. Address and manager sync up with Google. And so I have two accounts in this Braille sense and all my contacts and scheduling information. If I put something on my iPhone or put something on the Braille sense. And on the Braille sense, if I select either of the Gmail accounts that are on the device, um, that are linked to that device, to this device rather. Um, it will then sync over across to Gmail and automatically alert me. And same thing if I do it on my iPhone and select one of those accounts, it automatically comes over here and the Braille Sense picks it up, which is really, really awesome. Organizer. Oh. So I'm just hitting backspace to get back into the main sort of the menu, if you will. You can hit dot four and spacebar to move down. Web tools. Of web tools. We talked about this a little bit in the first video, but um Web browser. This is your web browser, Google search, your Google B. search, wiki search, and your wiki search. Web tools, B, extras, X. We have extras in here, and this is a little bit of a long list, but we can go in here and see what we got. Excel viewer, X. We have an Excel viewer. This is really neat um, if you do a lot and you just want to view an Excel document. The keystrokes are tremendously huge, but there's a lot of them, but you could basically do everything. Um, in this Excel viewer that you could in a actual Excel document on your computer. Sense dictionary, D. We have dictionary. Color reader, C. We have a color reader. Color reader, C. And that's it. And the color reader is pretty good. Uh, the sense, sense dictionary, I'm glad that it's free because in the Bro Sense U2, that was an extra add on. But then it says kindly dictionary, D. Um, giving it to us for free, which is, which is awesome. Extras, X, programs, R. Now, this is something that you won't have unless you've installed the Sense Bible app. And being a man of faith, I like having this instead of having to have it on my phone, connect my connect a Braille display, say the Q Braille XL, taking it to, to church with me, just taking the Braille Sense and knowing that within a couple of keystrokes I can get into whatever Bible version I want and be able to track along with what's going on. I like having this program here. Utilities, you. And utilities. Calculator, C. Or the calculator. Braille Sense Math, M. We have Braille Sense Math, which is powerful, and I still haven't even gotten my head around this yet. Display time and date, D. We can display the time and date. World clock, O. World clock, so if you do a lot in different time zones, um, this would be really helpful. And I wish I had this 
uh, with previous jobs or may make life a little bit easier. Display compass heading H. Display compass heading. Wake up alarm A. And you can set up a wake up alarm. Stopwatch W. You have a stopwatch. Terminal for screen reader. You have a terminal for screen reader, and this goes for both desktop and mobile devices. This is where you go to set this up. Display network status N. I can display the network status. Display power status. E. I can display the power status. Backup restore flash disk. K. I can back up or restore the flash disk. Basically, all the files and folders that are on this flash disk. If I got a new unit, if I got a BrailleSense uh, 6 or the, the BrailleSense Mini, uh, the 20 cell version of the Bigger Brother, I could just back up the flash disk onto an, an SD card or, or a thumb drive and be on my way and everything on this flash disk would transfer over to the other unit. Format F. Format the unit. Sleep timer J. There's a sleep timer. Macro manager on. And the famous macro manager. Upgrade Braille Sense firmware. And the upgrade Braille Sense firmware. Upgrade Braille Sense firmware utilities U. Settings S. There's a bunch of different settings in here. Set time and date T. Setting the time and the date. Set up internet I. Setting up the internet. Bluetooth manager B. Bluetooth manager, we can go in and actually manage some of the Bluetooth devices in here. Menu manager, M. Menu manager, so if you didn't want a couple of things um, in the menu and didn't use them a lot to make it worth it, you could just take them out. Backup restore Braille Sense settings, K. Backup restore Braille Sense settings. So again, you could use this from one unit to another unit. And all your settings would be restored to that one device. View device name, D. A view device name. Quick start guide, Q. Quick start guide. Password protection, A. You can password, password protect this device, meaning that you have to enter a password in order for it to even um, be locked, uh, to um, be operable. And I would say if you don't necessarily need to do this because you can just key lock on the very left of the unit and there is a switch, a three-way toggle switch. All keys locked. And I can Password have protection. all hey. keys locked, locked to where nothing happens on the unit as I'm typing. I can put it in the middle. To the very, uh, and, yeah. Password protection. In the a. middle. Top panel locked. And have top the top panel, panel locked and still have access to my media keys and the mode switch for those media keys. Or I can unlock, unlock it and the full, full keyboard becomes available to me. So it is something that password protection is a good thing to have. I think if you're dealing with multiple students and they tend to at least when I was in school, tend to uh, write notes to their friends and all that stuff and pass the devices underneath the table um, to prevent that from happening or even pre preventing um, work from being um, written over if a device is going to be given to a kid on a, um, on a yearly basis through school. And that would be their unit. You could password protect that unit. So information from year to year um, stays on that device. Initialize Braille Sense options, C. I can initialize the Braille Sense options and basically erase it from uh, to start. Reinstall default apps, N. I reinstall the default apps. So if there's something wrong with an app or whatever, I can just reinstall all the default ones. Voice options, V. We have voice options and we can switch between Android and other the Android TTS and other TTS voices that we have on here if we want to, but I like the voice that's on here, so I'm going to keep it. Language profiles, L. And this is something really cool is if you wanted to set different languages, so if you were learning to say speak French and wanted a French voice, but also wanted it in the Braille in English, so you could see what's going on or vice versa, you wanted to learn, say, Spanish Braille and one of the Braille in Spanish, but also but the voice in English so you could understand what's going on, then you could do that. So this is a really powerful thing uh, for people who are learning to speak another language or for even 
people who speak different languages who are learning English as their second language. Braille Sense Global Options. Oh. The Braille Sense Global Options. Android Backup Reset. R. Then we have Android Backup Reset. Android System Settings. Then we have Android System Settings. So this is a basically a launcher running on top of Android, which is Android System Settings. All way on good. Settings. S. Pretty awesome that it's, that it's uh, stable as well. Help. H. What I mean by stable is that you, I don't have to have, I'm not using a touch screen and having to flick around to find something. Everything that I can do is by first layer navigation, and which is even more powerful than, say, attaching a keyboard would be. And we have help, which is the H hotkey um, to get into the basically the entire user guide of the BrailleSense device itself. Play Store. P. Then we have the Play Store, which takes us directly to the Play Store. All apps. All apps is basically the app drawer where you have all of our different applications. Information about the Braille Sense. The last thing here is information about the Braille Sense. So, all apps. A. Bard, how do we get to that? Well, Play go Store. to the Play Store. Button. Search apps, games. Press enter to activate. Now, the really cool thing about this is that I can use first letter navigation to get into here, or I can use the F3 key of the device, or four, five, and six to move Button. Search Google Play. forward, to activate. or dot one and two in space to move backward. Button. Search apps games. Button. Press Search to apps games. Button. Navigate up. Press enter to just activate. type in B A R D and press enter. Button. Navigate up. Email. Hearing aid advice. Hearing aid advice. Interesting. So I got an email about hearing aid advice. Uh, Button. Bard. Press enter to activate. So I just pressed B to see what came first. And B for Bard came up. I didn't even have to go through and flick through and find it. Um, hopefully touch in the right place on the screen to find it. Just press B to do that. Um, and it was the first app. Let's see what else happens when I press B. Button, Bing, chat with AI GPT for Microsoft Corporation Tools Browser Star Rating. And there's point two downloaded 10 M plus times in list. One okay. item, press enter to activate. Here's B. Uh, there's the Bing search. Let's actually go back up to the top with uh, backspace and B. Or try to, anyways. Button, content rating everyone. Press enter to activate. So let's just go back up to the very top and press B again. Button, guard, press and enter to activate. And I thought that it's not the fault of the Braille sense. I thought that command will work, backspace and B would work, but it, it doesn't for this. And that's fine. Um, so here's the BARD application. Bard. And I can move through this by pressing down arrow and dot four. BARD. Button. Clear. Press enter to activate. Button. I'm sorry. For BARD. In list. The uh, F3 activate. key. Button. Refine search to BARD. Press enter. Button. Search for BARD mobile. Press enter to activate. And it's giving me a suggestion to search for Bard Mobile because probably Bard is uh, Microsoft's AI tool. Button. Navigate up. Press enter to so activate. That's better search is Bard Mobile. Let's see here. Button. Bard Mobile. Press There's enter to activate. Bard Mobile. Press Bard enter Bard to mobile. activate it. And let's see what button. we get here. Clear. Press button. Search for Bard Mobile. Button. Refine search button. Search for bar button. Refine search button. Search for bar chat button. Refine search to bar chat button. Search for G button. Refine search to G bar button. Search for Google. Press enter to app button. Refine search to Google button. Search for G bar date button. Refine search to button. S button. Refine button. Search button. Refine button button. Refine search to bar mobile app Google. Press enter to activate. Oh. Button. Search for bar mobile app Google. Okay. Press button. Navigate up. So let's list. see. Press enter. Edit box. Bar mobile. Bard Mobile, let's Bard just mobile. do that. Button, navigate up, press enter to activate. Button, Bard Mobile, press enter to activate. Bard Mobile. Bard, Bard Mobile. Yeah. Button, clear, press enter button, search for Bard Mobile. In list, one item, press enter to activate. Button, navigate up, press enter to activate. Button, Bard Mobile, press enter button, search Google Play, press enter to act button, voice search, press enter to button, Bard Mobile, Library of Congress, press enter to act. Ah, okay. So I see what I did. 
So I'm still getting used to this and still learning about it. And so here is actually the Bard Mobile app. And I just did that by pressing B until I hear Bard Mobile in the Library of Congress. This is what I want. Press enter. Button. Navigate off. Press enter to activate. Press B again. Bard Mobile. In list. One item. And B again. Button. Books reference tag. Press enter to activate. About that. Go back up. Button. Nav Bard Mobile. In list. One I button. Library of Congress. Press enter to button. Uninstall. Press enter to activate. So as you can tell, it's been installed. You would just press F3, just like I did to get to that install button. Press enter, and you would be good. To go now okay that it's installed file, file manager how do you get to it so pressing f1 and a for all apps assistant b for board mobile board mobile and it's right there alternatively file manager f what you can't do on an iphone is find an application that's in a folder but watch this if i press space with f find app dialog app, it's edit box the BrailleSense 6 is smart enough to know I'm looking for an application, but it's also smart enough to know that I can type in anything and it's going to search within the entire OS or the entire system rather and find what it thinks I'm looking for. So I'm just going to type BA. And press enter see what happens. Bard Mobile one four list items. So we get four items here. And the first one's Bard Mobile, but let's see what else we get. I'm going to press uh, the dot four in space bar. Database manager two four list item. Database manager because I press B A, and so it associates B A. He might be looking for database as well. Backup restore settings three four list item. Or backup and restore settings. Backup restore flash disk four four list item. Backup and restore flash disk. That's actually. File manager. Escape out of that by pressing F4. Could have pressed also space with E and do that same thing again. But let's just press A and see what we get. Find app dialog. App edit box. So I'm going to press A. Set time and date 145 list item. So we get, now we get 45 results. Let's take File manager. It a step app. further. Find app dialog. And app edit to box. assist. Assistant one one list item. And it's going to find the Google Assistant. File manager F. But let's go back find to app, dialog. Bard. It's just edit box. B A. Bard mobile one. There's Four. Bard mobile. Item. Press enter. File manager F. Book bookshelf. Get books. And Set. now I'm inside Reading. of the Bard application. So that's really, really slick. And I can even go into the word processor by pressing the F1 key and W together. Task name, word processor, top of document. And I'm in the word processor straight from the BARD mobile application. F file manager, F. So the BrowSense is a very powerful tool. And I haven't even scratched the surface of it. And I'm excited to do that with you and show you what I find and I've already got some applications that are really awesome, like Lookout, um, Envision AI, and uh, Bard Mobile, what is the one I was showing you. And you can actually do that first letter navigation. So if I go back into Bard Task Mobile, name, word processor, Task name, Bard Mobile, with button, bookshelf, press and press B. Or, or P because I want to find the play button. See control progress bar button previous press button play press enter to press activate play button. Now I'll all I have to do is press enter. It was positively ripped, and wasn't that what prisoners did? Lift weights. All and you're hearing "See Me" by Nicholas Sparks. I can then go out and do what else I need to do on the Braille sense, and not even have to worry about it interrupting what I'm doing or going through and making sure that the book um, doesn't doesn't play because I can play the book 
Yeah, going to the word processor. Signature of one of the gangs in prison she'd heard That's about. name, word processor. Go back into board. Now that button has changed to S. So I'm going to hit S to hear a stop. See me. A nice sleep off. Or God forbid, a gun. Button, And press enter and it stopped it. So it's about knowing what those buttons change to. It kind of fast forward button. Play, so now, present, now that activate. stop button has went back to a play button. And so it's kind of knowing what those states change from and to when pressed and depressed. And um it's it's really cool that, that that happens. I can press space with D or file manager. F. I thought I could. I guess I can't. I can uh get F the apps list one four list item by Pressing F one and F four. Task name. Play task name. Word processor four four list it, item. Space of D to delete task four name. processor. Three. Space the D. Task name. Play store two two list item. To delete Bard. Space of name. Zoom one one list item. D to delete the Play Store. File manager. And get F. back out and go into the file manager. So this has just been a quick look at the main. Bro sense six main menu, if you will. The Bro sense mini, which is the smaller cousin to the Bro sense six, the same internals, same hardware, and same software, just a smaller display and a smaller package. And so I hope you've enjoyed this. Please continue to come on my journey of learning everything about the Burrow Sense 6 and how it can fit into your life and how it's fitting into my life. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and leave your comments. What do you want to see in the next video of the Burrow Sense 6?